Well, after that, I continued the life of prostitution. When I escaped trafficking, especially in the 90s, nobody knew what human trafficking was. I was not allowed to be in a shelter, not even a homeless shelter, because with me being Asian, they thought I was a foreigner and I had to show proof that I was a, a, a citizen. Well, when I was trafficked, my trafficker destroyed all my documents. So I was non-existent. So that's why I had to return to the life of prostitution in order to survive. But people would judge me. They would say, well, if you got raped, then you did this on your own, but you don't know somebody's story. You may see a young girl standing on the street corner instead of asking her, hey, are you hungry? Let's sit down and talk and let's look at some resources to help you with the situation. But instead people are like, ooh, she's this or she's that. And then they'll say, well, she deserved it. I had a, a conversation with one of my friends and I was talking to him about one of my stories. Back in the 90s, they had these chat lines so I would jump on these chat lines to look for clients. That's how I got clients to sell myself. But every once in a blue moon, I went to talk to someone who would listen to me. So there was this guy, he listened to me. He was out actually out in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So he told me, why don't you come out? I'll make you a star. I was naive and gullible. And so I said, okay. So I went on a Greyhound bus to go meet him. When I met him, he and five of his friends took turns raping me. So when I shared this to one of my guy friends recently, he said, well, Chong, you kind of deserved it. How do you deserve to be raped? Gang raped at that. I didn't ask for that. Yes, was I naive? Yes. Was I gullible? Yes. But does that mean I should have suffered in that type of violence? No. Why is it that when these men who buy children or the men that are selling these girls, they're not being penalized, they're not being shamed. But then when it's a survivor trying to survive, she's being judged. 